What's going on everybody and welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and I hope you guys have recovered from a difficult uh, Champions League midweek game because you know I, I have, have half recovered but we're, we're time, time to bounce back now. Time to go back to the Bundesliga. We got a match coming up against Armenia Bielefeld so this is our match preview for it. If you guys are excited for the match preview be sure to drop a like on the episode. Drop a subscription if you guys have not done so yet and let's get into the video now. All right, guys, so hopefully the Scars have healed a little bit from the midweek disaster against Ajax. It's time to bounce back against Armenia Bielefeld in the Bundesliga. We still have the Bundesliga to compete for. We're only a point behind Bayern, and we need a reaction right away. So taking a look at the recent history, which is basically just last season between Armenia and Dortmund, we won both matches. We won 2 nothing, and we won 3-0 against Armenia. So we did the double over them last season, so we're hoping that we'll continue to this one. Looking at recent form as well, we're in a better place than Armenia is, as Armenia in their last five have zero wins, two draws, and three losses, where Dortmund has three wins, zero draws, and two losses. But like I said, we are coming off of a disastrous midweek performance, so let's hope that this is just a bit of a wake-up call, because if you're Armenian right now, you're smelling blood in the water after seeing a, a real shocker of a performance from Borussia Dortmund. Moving now on over to my predicted starting eleven. Kind of interesting. I'd like to even maybe see Marco Rosa just blow this starting 11 up and try to get a, a bit of a fight back, but I, I kind of have a feeling he's going to go something similar to this. I think he's going to start in the 4-2-3-1, in a proper 4-2-3-1. You guys will see what I mean in a second. In goal will be Gregor Kobel. Right back will be Thomas Munier. The two center backs will be Akanji with Hummels. Left back will be Schultz. He got yanked off at halftime, but I still think he's our best bet right now with Guerrero being out at left back. The two CDMs will be Chan coming in for Witzel, giving him a little rest, and he did not have a very strong Midweek, not that Chan did, but I think Chan will be just a little bit more rested. Alongside with Bellingham, who I am hoping after being really, really good this season so far, Bellingham has been fantastic. He had a bit of a slip up midweek as well, and hopefully he'll get back to the way he's been providing basically opportunities for the attack all season long. The three attacking midfields at center attacking mid, I'm having Marco Royce there. I want him to play centrally. It's where he wants to play. I don't want to see him keep having to drift out to the right and not be involved and not be through the middle and the heart, which is where he wants to be. So I think in a 4-2-3-1, having Chan and Bellingham behind him will allow Royce to kind of play the type of game he does now. So I want him as the center attacking mid. At right attacking mid, Thorgan Hazard. At left attacking mid, Daniel Mullen. And striker Erling Holland. I was very, very close to taking out Daniel Mullen. I think there's a good chance he may not start and Brandt would be in, which would, would then allow Royce to go out wide and have Brandt through the middle. But I really want to see Royce as his preferred in his best position right now, which is at the number 10. So unfortunately, just for Brandt, that leaves him out. And I would like to see Mullen have a potential influential game because he just he's been he's been very very poor and very quiet of late. And he needs to find ways to justify bringing him in and seeing what he's gonna do. Moving on over now, guys, and to our key matchups. The first key matchup we're going to take a look at is Robin Hack, who is going to probably play in a 4-4-2 at left mid. And I'm going to line him up with Thomas Munier. I'm doing this matchup because I think Robin Hack has, in that 4-4-2 is going to be doing a lot of defending, but I think he's got the ability to go forward and, and really have an opportunity to hit on the counter. He hasn't had the easiest adjustment to to come into the Bundesliga with Armenia, but I think there's a real good player in there. I've seen him from one of the things he's done at Nuremberg, and I think it's an opportunity for him to really run at Thomas Mune because that's going to be the battle that's been going on. And Thomas Mune needs to get more involved on the attack, but also being able to pick up someone like Hack and defending and making sure that the counterattacks get shut down. I think that'll be a very interesting battle to see how they get through the course of the match. My second key matchup is going to be Stefan Ortega versus Erling Holland, and this one seems somewhat of an obvious one considering Erling Holland had three pretty decent chances to score in the Ajax game, and he didn't do so. He's got an incredible goal scoring record right now this season in the Bundesliga. He knows you want to keep up with Lewandowski and go for the top scorer, and I think this is another good opportunity for him to get off. I think it's going to frustrate him in his performance at midweek. Not that he was horrible because he wasn't, but it's it's Holland. You expect him to bury at least one of those three chances. So Ortega's going to have a real, <laughs> real angry Holland on his hands to try to keep at bay. And if, if Armenia wants to have any chance of potentially getting a point or something from this this tie, they basically need to keep Holland quiet. And I think Ortega is going to be a big part of that. He's a very solid keeper. And he's going to be the man between the sticks to try to keep Erling Holland at bay. And if he can get the better of him and maybe get in his head, there's a chance that Holland may draw a rank. But let's be honest, we're hoping not. So now, guys, let's move on over to the predictions. And let me know, guys, down below in the comments if you guys agree with my starting 11, if you agree with my key matchup, if there's anyone else that you would like to mention as well. And be sure to let me know your guys' prediction for this one. It's going to be a tough one, especially seeing what type of Dortmund side we're going to get. Marco Rosa, I think, is 
kind of got been lucky from time to time to be able to get to where we we are now in the standing, considering we're only a point off of Bayern because there's been some iffy performances and I would like to see Mark Rosa kind of find an identity. I think that's what this week's about for me is just find a way, find a system that works with these players, find a formation you just want to stick with, see what that you can get out of your squad and get a response from a dreadful, dreadful midweek performance. And I think there's a good opportunity he can do that. The players need to buy in and I'm hoping for the best when we take on Armenia. So I am going to predict a bit of a bounce back. I'm going to say two nothing, probably not the safest thing to do saying that we're going to get a clean sheet, but it's what my gut's telling me. So I'm going to say two nothing for Bruce Dortmund over Armenia. They are going to bounce back. Hopefully, like I said, with this four, two, three, one with Royce playing as the cam, sorry for Brant, but it has it has to be this way in my eyes and hopefully we can get the results. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this match preview. And if you did, be sure to drop a like on the episode, drop a sub if you haven't already. We're getting very close to 6,000 subscribers, guys. We appreciate all the support and we'll see you hopefully in the watch along. Take care, friends. Cheers.